Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to change animation timing with keywords. In CSS animations and animation timing function, uh, the animation timing function property controls how quickly an animated element changes over the duration of the animation. If the animation is a car moving from point A to point B in a given time, your animation duration, okay, that so your animation duration, that means like the car moving from point A to B, the time that it takes from a uh, car to move from point A to B is uh, the timing function it says how the car accelerates or decelerates over the course of the drive there are a number of predefined keywords available for popular options for example the default value is ease which starts slow and speeds up in the middle and then slows down in the end Another option includes ease out, which is quick at the beginning and slows down. Ease in, which is slow in the beginning and then speeds up at the end. And then linear, which applies a constant animation speed throughout. Hmm. Uh, okay, so for the elements with ID of ball one and ball two, so ball one and ball two, uh, left at 27% and then left at 56%. So this is probably ball one here and this is probably ball two here. Let's see if we can shift that up. If we make it 30, cool. Okay, so ball one is definitely this one and ball two is this one. See, if I make it 17, this one shifts out, but this one stays the same. And so therefore, I know that this is ball one and this is ball two. Uh, notice the difference between how the elements move during animation, but end together since they share the same animation duration of two seconds. Hmm. Okay, I'm not seeing that. Okay, so. Okay, I, I jumped ahead here. So for the elements with ball one and ball two and animation timing property, set ball one to linear and ball two to ease out. So linear um, animation timing function, we wanna set ball one to linear. And we're going to set ball two to ease out. Now we're gonna have a look at it. Cool. So this is linear. You see how it's just moving at the same pace? Ease out, quick, slow, quick, quick. So it goes slow, quick, slow, slow, quick, slow. Sorry, quick, slow, qu quick, slow, quick, slow. And then this one has the exact same pace. Uh, we run the tests. I think that that's all it's trying to say. Uh, let's uh, discuss this a little bit deeper. So let's say we made this like, 130%. I'm not even sure if that would work. Huh. No, that just breaks the program. Interesting. So yeah, with the keyframes, you can only go 0 to 100%. Uh, we're calling the keyframes bounce, which is the uh, balls. Okay, so basically, okay, this is all the CSS here. And then this is the HTML. The HTML just has two lines. There's two balls. They each have a class of balls. So they're both balls. But one has the ID of the first ball and the one has the ID of the second ball. When you come up here, you look at ball one, it uh, now has this linear thing where it just doesn't change its pace. It's exactly the same, just falling down at the exact same rate. Ease out as it goes fast and then it slows down. And then, oh, so that's what it does. It just goes fast and then it slows down. And then they reach the end at the exact same time. Um, the width is 50. If we were to change the width to 100, you'd see that there'd be big fat balls. And then at height, we would say if they were 100 or 100%, they're like kind of egg-shaped things. Uh, the margin, again, the margin is the, the distance that they start from the top. If we were to make this 10, they would start from the start up higher. Uh, the animation name, bounce, again, that's a, that's a variable name, which correlates with the keyframes. The duration's two seconds, so if we were to make this 10 seconds, they would fall extremely slowly. And then the iteration count just means infinite, which means they just repeatedly do this and um, that's it we run the test they still pass and I hope this video is useful uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video